Hey guys, what's up? This is Josh. Well, as some of you may know, I recently uh, left my job. So I was working there for 15 years, right? I started um, back working for um, the Department of Defense back whenever I was, well, let's see, it was 2009. So I had just gotten out of, uh, just finished college, right? My undergrad and um, got a computer engineering degree. And it was, you know, right after the market kind of tanked and, uh, well, couldn't find any work. So I got a job as a student with the government, which is pretty cool. Um, it was a good gig. Um, I came in, um, you know, as a pretty low GS level, right? Um, but then I was able to also stay going to school for my master's so that I could get, you know, um, get that out of the way. And not to mention they, um, the school SIUE was offering, um, the opportunity to become a, uh, TA with them so that I could get my master's for free. Um, but they also needed somebody that was familiar with the material so that they could, um, or so that I could help the students be able to really kind of grasp the material a little bit better than a lot of the TAs that they had, um, previously. And so I, uh, was working, you know, and working for the school and working for the, um, Department of Defense for a while. And, Eventually, you know, graduated with my um, MS in electrical engineering, which is pretty sweet, and uh, stayed on working for the government, stayed on working for the DOD. I've worked for, you know, DISA, and then I've worked for um, um, uh, the Air Force as well, right? For years, I've I've been I've been doing that, right? And over the course of the years, like many of you may know, that I had a farm, right? Um, and that kind of um, went tango uniform, right? Um, which it happens, right? And so we had to move on from that. But, you know, through a lot of that, I developed a lot of skills. And it, not just skills of like cleaning up after animals or taking care of animals or butchering animals like many of you probably saw me do in the past with a lot of my videos. But I learned how to advertise and market. You know, when you've got a farm and you're selling something that is, uh, you know, a commodity item, but you got to sell it for more, <laughs> you know, because it, it's hard to be able to make it in that business. You know, you, you learn a lot about marketing. And so I learned quite a bit about web design and digital marketing and running ads through that. And so that, you know, really shaped a big part of, you know, what I was doing with my life and what I was doing, um, you know, every day, day in and day out, you know, like I worked, you know, for the government during the day and I came home in the evenings and weekends and worked for my farm and, um, you know, developed a lot of skills, right. That helped a lot. And, um, many of you might have seen over the years that I've also, um, been getting into real estate. So the very first house that I've got that I got back in 2009, I still have, right. Um, I don't have the farm. That's the only property I've ever sold. Right. And, uh, but the, um, you know, I've sort of like collected, I'm a collector of houses if that makes any sense, kind of sounds a little strange, but, um, you know, I hold on to them and I rent them out and it's, uh, it's been a fun project. I, I have a management company that I work with and, um, they take a percentage of what I make on the rent and, um, then I get what's left over. Right. And so for years I've been doing that since, you know, I guess 2012 is officially when that started because I didn't move out of my first house until about 2012 when I moved to the farm. But, um, so I've been doing that for over 10 years, you know, um, since before Chip and Joanna were flipping houses for HGTV. I mean, they probably were doing it then too, but like I, I've, I've been in the, um, you know, business of, of working on houses for a while and it's not, it, it hasn't ever been something that was like fast work for me because I've had a full-time job and I've had to do that on the side, you know, and, um, it's been, you know, it's been a wild ride and, um, I think we're up to like 13 doors now. And so, um, just another, you know, real estate lingo for fit fi or 13 units. Right. And so I cash flow well enough to kind of like take care of things, um, quite a bit and, um, take care of a decent number of my expenses or our expenses. And, and that's allowed me to um, kind of jump away from, uh, you know, being able to say, all right, I'm done with this, uh, um, government work and I can focus on my side projects. Right. And so, um, everything that I've done has always been nights and weekends. Right. So like if I've had a side project, 
I've had to, you know, spend evenings and weekends, you know, really um, tackling those things and and taking off vacation days when I could here and there to really tackle big projects, you know. And so I'd get a house and I'd, um, you know, I'd have to do a lot of work to it. And I would take, I would use, I'd burn a lot of vacation just to, um, to, uh, to work on that. So um, I know Allie's probably going to be a lot happier now that I don't have to, uh, um, you know, burn all of that time and I can spend more family time, you know, focusing on things that are more important, you know. And so I, uh, I'm doing this video um, and probably a lot of future videos because it's, it's really good for me to um, sort of video log things. You know, a lot of uh, people that I've, you know, listened to in the past um, as far as um, like podcasters and different, um, you know, coaches, you know, they, they said they wish they would have done more logging and blogging and video logging over time when they were, you know, just starting out because um, it, it means a lot to them to be able to look back on, on how they kind of came to where they are, you know? And so this is kind of what that is, you know? Um, it's not for anything special other than, you know, to kind of like, I get to now have clarity on a lot of things, you know, it's like, it's, it's a big deal to do something for 15 years and then just step away from doing that thing that you were doing for 15 years, you know? So my, I've got three side projects, right? And, um, the first that I was kind of talking about there was, um, the rental property that I've got and how I like to buy old houses and, and make them nice and hold on to them and then rent them out. And then, you know, I, uh, <laughs> it's just one of those things where it's like, I'm still going to do that. You know, um, it's just going to look a little bit different, right? Um, I'll still be buying houses. I'll still be doing that work, but um, you know, it'll kind of be in tandem with some of the other projects, um, that I have. And so I'll be putting out some videos here soon about, um, I, I did, a, I worked on a house for quite a while and, um, it's the biggest project that I've ever taken on. And some of you have seen pictures and pieces of it, like me digging up a sewer line and replacing, you know, parts of that. So you'll get to watch kind of like the, the videos of it being at the beginning stages and then all the way to the end. Right. And so, it's a lot of fun for me to document that stuff. And I want to get more into that. You know, I want to, I want to get more into that area of being able to like have, you know, digital records of me actually like doing things. Cause I, you know, I've not really ever had, um, a lot to be able to show for what I do in my career, you know, cause spending 15 years doing something that you're not supposed to really, you know, be, um, outward about, you know, it, it's kind of tough, you know, you can't really, you know, like, look at all the stuff that I was able to do. Well, no, I can't do that. Right. Like I can't, I can't talk about that stuff. Right. So, um, and that's okay. You know, I'm, I'm happy with that. Um, there's no hard feelings or anything like that. I, you know, I'll miss a lot of the people that I've worked with. I'll, I'll miss a lot of the work that I was doing, you know? And so, um, it's just, it's time for me to kind of move on to the next big thing. Right. And so, um, that leads me into, you know, the next big thing, right? Where I'm talking about video logging, all this stuff. I have, um, a side project that, that really should be a, a main project, you know? Um, and I do, and I, I, I take all of that, you know, effort and, um, education that I got with websites and advertising. And now I have a, an agency essentially where, um, I lead a team of people, right? And, um, we will do website design and development you know, from the ground up. Um, and we also will do social media, um, management with like digital graphics design and all of that and, um, content creation, you know, the, the whole gambit. Um, and then I also manage a lot of ad campaigns for different companies, right? So, um, you know, Google ads, Facebook ads, I'll manage a lot of that, um, as well. And, um, the name of the company is Metro East SEO. And, uh, you know, the SEO stands for the, the last part of what I was doing there, was, which would be search engine optimization, right? Showing up high on Google for the different uh, search phrase, phrases that you you would want to show up for. So just to kind of like, this is gonna be, I wear that hat, right? The Metro East SEO hat, right? It's, um, this was done by Hat Launch, which is a pretty awesome company. And so I would get to wear that hat, um, you know, 
helping different businesses to be able to really kind of scale what they're doing and, and be able to reach a larger clientele, a, a larger market. And I love doing that. I mean, I love helping people grow, helping businesses grow. And so, um, I have a lot of experience with that and, um, I look forward to you know helping you and, and helping anybody else that, um, you know, I may reach out to or, you know, be connected to through social media, you know, if they want me to do any kind of audits for them and, and show them how they can improve their business. Um, I can do that, you know, and I can provide, you know, scope of work for any kind of website development work that you need done. Um, I can, I can do that, right. It's a, it's a good industry. Um, you know, it's not, you know, I'm probably not the cheapest person out there. Um, but I'm also far from being the most expensive, you know, so there's that side of things, right? And so if you want to connect on that, or if you know anybody, sorry, if you know anybody that wants to connect on that, um, you, know, you can check out this here, right? My Facebook page, please, please, please like and follow if you would. Um, it's facebook.com slash Metro East SEO. I'll also put the link in the post that I make for this. Um, you know, like this is a great way for me to be able to generate, um, cash flow, um, to support, you know, me and my family as well. You know, so like I, I, um, you know, I have clients that, that pay me, um, to be able to maintain their websites, to be able to maintain their, um, search engine presence and, and their ads. And, and I, I thoroughly appreciate these people. They have, um, you know, they know who they are, <laughs> right. Um, and I, I just can't tell you enough that like, I, I do want to make, you know, my clients lives better, right? I want to make everything improve. I want everybody to be found for things, you know? And so we work to, um, you know, my team and I, we work to try to, to create content, to try to create digital assets that will, um, be picked up and can be found on the internet. Right. And so, um, we did just recently did a rebranding of the site, um, not necessarily rebranding because that's kind of a tricky term, but sort of a redesign of the the front end of things, you know, to kind of show off more web design, search engine optimization, social media marketing, local map listings. Um, you know, we also do ads as well, right? Um, we also incorporate a CRM here that you can see with like, it, it grabs people's information and allows us to be able to, um, you know, create opportunities based on that. We have a lot of automations built into that. So like people and clients that are, um, interested in, in this sort of automation, um, I love to be able to set them up with that. Some people already have this and that's why I don't necessarily, you know, dive into that, but, um, this just gives you kind of a, an idea of it. And so, um, I got connected with some people and, um, I've also, um, I am blessed to be a part of another company, right? So like I, um, you know, I talked about the first company that I have that buys and, um, um, rehabs houses and rents them out. This is the second company that I have that we do web design and digital marketing work, which I want all of that. So you got it. If you've got a business, please, please contact me. I'd love to be able to sit down with you and, and work on helping to grow it. And so, um, Next big thing, and I know I'm at a kind of a long video here, but I'll try to keep it you know, short on this end, is that um, I teamed up with a buddy of mine, James, and he's a plumber, right? So here's my other hat, right? It's Alexander Plumbing and Remodeling. Alexander Plumbing and Remodeling. So I love remodeling work. I've been doing that for years. Um, the plumbing work, I love plumbing. I mean, you saw pictures of me working on that last house where I was uh, digging up that sewer line and getting that replaced. And so um, I got connected with James a couple years ago. Um, we kind of um, started a company around a year ago this time, focusing on plumbing and remodeling. And, uh, you know, our goal is to try to, you know, grow a company here that we can um, be the go-to people for um, anyone that's interested in, in getting any plumbing work done. And so we, uh, I get to utilize my, my, advertising agency to be able to, um, also assist in this, but, um, this is the opportunity that allows me to really grow something here that, um, you know, I get to see long-term, um, benefits from it, you know? And so, um, you know, if you want, please, please, please like, and follow our Facebook page. 
right? Because I'm we're going to be producing a lot of content for this as well. I'm going to be producing content for my SEO page and for my plumbing the plumbing page as well. Um, so it's facebook.com slash a plumbing LLC, right? Super easy, right? Here's our website. It's a plumbing LLC.com. Um, if you need any plumbing work, you can request a quote. This is probably the easiest way to be able to get us to, um, to pull your information so that we can get you on our schedule. And, um, we've got people on our team. It's not just James and I, we've got people on our team that can get out there and, and get things fixed. Um, you know, if you need that done. And so, um, I love this industry. It's been, um, you know, a big part of my life for years and it's, it's great to really get to dive into it more and to be more involved with it. So you're going to see a lot more video content of James and I working on stuff and creating neat content. Um, and it's just, it's going to be so much fun. So, um, for those of you who've known me for a while or, or you don't, you haven't known me for a while, I, uh, have a lot of alarms on my phone, uh, if you didn't guess, right? That's how I, I learn, or how I uh, make sure that I keep track of everything that I'm doing, is alarms notify me, right? So to keep this short, which it's not, it's you know almost a 20-minute long video, um, that's what I'm doing now. And uh, I want to thank everybody I've worked with before at my last um, you know job, my last endeavors, and um, I look forward to to working with you guys in the future with everybody who needs plumbing work done or if you need any digital marketing work done websites i mean that's our bread and butter websites social media and ads and search engine optimization you know so um, keep me in mind and uh, you'll see a lot of content from me in the future so thanks <laughs>